Hey everybody, it's Nicholas Rogers with the big Timber Lodge! Coming back at you today with another fun and exciting video where we're going to be exploring whether or not adding a suppressor to my Seekins Havoc PH2 chambered and 300 PRC will affect the bullet velocities. Now, if you would have asked me this a couple months ago, I would have said absolutely, I think adding a suppressor is probably going to increase the bullet velocities with this rifle. Sure but this is that? actually part three of a three-part series where in part one, Surprise, we explored whether or not adding a suppressor to a handgun would affect the bullet velocities. And surprisingly, it did not. And then in part two, your sense, we explored whether adding a suppressor to a modern sporting rifle would affect the bullet velocities. And it did not. So now I'm wondering if with a bolt action rifle, we're gonna see the same results or if there's a chance so we might actually see bullet velocities being affected by adding a suppressor. What do you think before I head to the range? Leave a comment below. Do you think adding this suppressor will affect the bullet velocities with this bolt action rifle? I'm not sure. Let's go find out. Hey, so I am back at Magnum Shooting Center South, one of my favorite ranges here at Colorado Springs. And let me explain to you what I'm gonna be doing in the range with the rifle. We have two different types of 300 PRC ammunition. We've got some Hornady Precision Hunter and then also some Hornady Match. And what I'll be doing is I'll be shooting five rounds of the Precision Hunter unsuppressed and five rounds of the Hornady Match unsuppressed. Then I will attach the suppressor and then I will shoot five more with each to see if there's a difference in velocity, suppressed or unsuppressed. All right, so if you've been following this series, you're gonna be saying, well, didn't you shoot 10 rounds unsuppressed and 10 rounds suppressed with the handgun and the modern sporting rifle? Yes, I did. But when your bolt action rifle ammo costs $60 for 20 rounds, what? we gotta cut costs a little bit. <laughs> Wow, all right, so looks like we have an average of 2,915 feet per second with a standard deviation of 9.6 feet per second, which is bad. And this is the Hornady LTX unsupported. Okay, so it looks like our average velocity with the Hornady match was 2,848 feet per second with a standard deviation of 14.3. This is interesting because of the fact that this is match ammo and it has a larger standard deviation than the hunting ammo. All right, just wanna point out that actually with this Hornady match, we got about 38 feet per second faster velocities than what's actually printed on the box. And with the Hornady ELDX, we actually got 56 feet per second faster than what's printed on the box. So I guess that's a win. <laughs> Hmm. 
So it looks like our average with the ELDX suppressed was 2,911 with a standard deviation of 8.1. So five feet per second slower than where we were at unsuppressed with a standard deviation of 8.1. So with the ELDX, we are not seeing any sort of effect with the velocities. Let's go ahead and shoot the match. With the Hornady match, we had an average of 2,855 feet per second, which is seven feet per second faster than the 2,848 feet per second that we had unsuppressed. So that would end up meaning we have a standard deviation of seven. So even suppressed with the match ammo, we are not seeing any sort of credible velocity chains with the bullets. So I mean, the whole reason why I made this video or this series of videos was because I had a viewer challenge me with the statement that I made about my rifle that it would increase velocities, increase velocities by having, by having, by having a surprise. By having a By adding a surprise. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. So the whole reason why I made this video series is I had a viewer challenge me in one of my previous videos where I said add <laughs> Adding a suppressor will increase the velocities. Adding a suppressor will increase the velocities. <laughs> and I guess after doing three different parts with the handgun, semi-automatic modern, modern sporting rifle, and now my bolt action rifle, we could confirm that adding a suppressor to your firearm does not increase bullet, does not increase bullet velocities. <laughs> Till next time, everybody. Peace.